the Galapagos, plants and animals. Uh, Galapagos, plants and animals for 200. All right. A 2013 study on diving mammals like these Galapagos sea lions found that they contain a positively charged myoglobin. It's a protein that allows them to store this gas, which permits them to stay underwater longer as they hunt for their fish prey. William, what is oxygen? Right, four. Uh, four. With eyes that are adapted for its hunting time when small fish rise to the surface to feed on plankton, the swallowtail gull is the only gull that can be described by this nine-letter adjective. Rob, what is nocturnal? That's the word. Uh, 600, please. Over 60,000 acres of the Galapagos Islands have been set aside for beneficial crops like this grass of the genus Saccharum. This primitive but very effective press is helping to extract the juices. Go, Jimmy. Go, Jimmy. <laughs> Nancy? What is sugar cane? Yep. Um, Galapagos plants and animals for 800. Answer there, the Daily Double. And you're in the lead. Um, 1,200. 12 for an even 6,000. Here am I with the clue. Darwin's finches writ large is how Carl Safina describes this soaring bird. The wave type here in the Galapagos is the only truly tropical type, and it has evolved distinct markings that help provide its name. What's a gull? No, what is the albatross? You're close. All right, let's take a look at the last clue, shall we? Portolaca, which is this type of plant named for its water-storing tissues, will turn a bright yellow in the rainy season. And the land iguanas that feast on this plant will eagerly approach visitors if they happen to be wearing yellow. Rob, what is moss? No. William or Nancy? Those are succulents, succulents, all right. Galapagos sea lions are thigmotactic, which means they thrive on bodily contact. So if they become solitary, they tend to deteriorate. The ideal social group then is this one with an exotic name. It could be as many as 30 females headed by one single bull.